Hello everyone, welcome to another fantasy match preview. This is for the game between Trent Rockets and Southern Brave. An interesting preview that is up to you. This one's going to be powered by fan to play and we have some really interesting news to share with you. Before that, Nikhil Bhai will share his views on this game and then I have something exciting to reveal. Yes, something very useful. So do stay tuned, of course, till the end of the video to also know the team. But uh, yes, something very special coming up. Regarding this game, I think two one team coming off of a very great win. Uh, the other is the informed team. So plenty of thinking to do here again. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, more on that later. Let's first look at what's special coming up. So that is the depositors leaderboard. It's going to be valid for you from the midnight of 25th all the way till 11.59 p.m. on the 20th of August exclusively on the fan to play app. The link is in the description below. So you must go ahead and make the best deposit because like you can see, there are some crazy prizes for you to avail. And if you are yes. that player who plays so many small leagues and grand leagues, I think this is the best chance for you to convert that deposit into winnings and at the same time also get something great out of the deposit. Yes, for sure. No better time to get some cool rewards. Yes, absolutely. So we get to the game then and this is going to be an interesting game like I discussed between Southern Brave and Trent. And when you look at the base team that we've already set up, we already have quite a set of options for you and uh, Nikhil Bhai will start by telling you why it's the cock and no one else. Uh, again, it's probably the obvious choices. We saw him uh, take his time in the last game while Paul Stolin was going hammer and talks. So maybe that you would hope that that little period gave him some confidence mm. because Quinton hasn't been himself for a while. Uh, up from him, if you want to take TKC, you can do that for sure. Mm. Uh, but again, it's it's purely based on the matchup that you see. Uh, not many people should actually trouble Quinton uh, while TKC does play an aggressive game. Uh, so uh, that's a call that you can take. For now, we're just going with the safer option in Quinton. Absolutely. And uh, do we see Finn Allen coming back here? Because I guess that West Indies series is over. So is that any possibility? Yeah, that it, it could possibly open up a very good spot also. Hmm. Uh, but then very interesting to see how they rejig the batting order uh, to fit the overseas <laughs> in Allen. Uh, because all-rounders have been key for both hmm. these sides. So that will be very crucial to see. Right, absolutely. So we look at the four batters then. So currently yeah. we have gone Sterling, Vince, Milan and Hales. Apart from that, there are quite a few choices like Tim David who you'd want to consider. But currently at this ground we're seeing and in general that openers are ruling the roost across the 100. Yeah. Yes, and also, uh, yes, Paul Sterling did, off, did get off to a great start. But... Uh, I do feel out of these four, maybe two might not work. Uh, again, it's too early to say which two may not work. Uh, they could all work and we could see a 200 versus 200 game. But again, uh, the matches so far for both teams have been most likely one-sided, where the team bowling first is either uh, really dismantled them or they've put up a massive score if that is Trent Rocket. So uh, that is very interesting to note. Uh, and of course, please go by the conditions at the match time because that dictates a lot of things. Uh, when we discuss the all-rounders, we'll discuss that in more detail. And uh, yeah, apart from this, I think these four are the obvious choices. Uh, Paul Schelling did bowl in the first game. So you never know. He could again roll his arm over. Say his, Paul Schelling has left Viren on mute, uh, both metaphorically and literally. <laughs> okay, yeah, so... Uh, nothing much to say there, but yeah, absolutely, that is a possibility too. Uh, then we look at the four all-rounders. Uh, here we have gone with Samit Patel, who I think will make very good use of the ground dimensions. Yeah. And uh, George Gartin, who will surely be in our team if he's bowling first, because we see some help here in, while bowling first. Maybe while bowling yeah. second, we take a chance on him. Uh, 
and then sams and fuller not too much to discuss on them we'll probably just interchange captain vice captain based on whoever's bowling first yeah see this is it's a call that we've been taking right through the 100 where we mm. go with all rounders more if you're very confident of the batters please go ahead and do that but with the all rounders also just like to point out a few occasions in the last few games where you saw uh, sams did not bowl the last set and mm. it was mad mills because he took a wicket in his previous set so those changes are happening again i'll re uh, say myself that teams are going with what is happening now they don't care what is the preset plan that okay if uh, james fuller is my death bowler but if somebody mm. like garton he took wickets they kept bowling him so that is what teams are happy to do so in that case try and pick guys who could give you contributions in both departments so here so far we've gone with sams and fuller Uh, Sam's also does well when he bats first. We saw him hit a good 40 or earlier in the tournament. Samit Patel could also be a very good option here. Uh, again, enough enough right-handed batters for him to target. So very very smart uh, in terms of how you are visualizing the game and uh, yeah, make multiple combinations. All of this. Yes, totally. And to support that point, before I get to the last two bowlers mm-hmm. regarding Samit Patel and why Nikhil Bai mentioned that is because of this. And you can see this will be probably one of the bigger grounds that they'll play on, where it will be 80 meters on the straight boundaries, and mm-hmm. the square boundaries are also 75 plus meters, which means that this would be the ground that spinners would have some leeway on in terms of margin for error. Yes, and also please do check for the availability of players. I think Rashid has left for is is gone to Dubai for the Asia Cup. So mm. interesting to see if Shamsi plays again. So I get lot of options that that are there that teams might try out. So yeah, just mind that as well. Yes, totally. And finally, we look at the two bowlers that we have gone with. So here we have Luke Wood and Tabre Shamsi. Not too much of doubt on either of them. Shamsi, like we always say, when he bowls second and there are runs on the board, he'll be GL captaincy or vice captaincy choice. Yes, and again, Luke Wood. I don't think there is any doubt that he's bowled absolutely brilliantly. And uh, if at all you want to change somebody, maybe Garton while bowling second, if you feel hmm. uh, wickets won't fall. Then you can swap Gordon for an extra for a, somebody else from that particular team, and then depending on who plays, there are options. But yeah, you have to go with who you feel strongly. So far, we've gone with form here. Uh, I don't see any very outrageous pick in this particular uh, game so far from our set piece. Hmm. Yeah, and that is also highly pertaining to the fact that there are not too many options that which we know that are going to be unavailable, available. Yeah. So there's some uncertainty in that regard. But yes, hopefully that clears out with the lineups coming out, and the other factor yeah. also being that Sadin Brave are very light on their bowling, and hence we have yeah. gone with the choices who can contribute in both departments. Yes, well and truly. So well, that rounds up our discussion and team for this game. Apart from that, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section, and we'll try to do the lives more on the weekend because we know you guys enjoy them. but till then we hope that this preview fulfills all the information that you require and we hope that you have a great game yes please do like share subscribe and share so that this good content has to these good people right so you are the good yes. people make it reach to even more good people and yes keep winning happy winnings yes thank you so much and all the best to all of you